What is going on guys? This is Doug with Four Wheel Drive Trek and today is the start of an awesome series that is going to be a special series on the channel just for you guys. Normally all the channel has to do with off-roading, four wheel drive, uh, jeeping and stuff. Obviously since the name Four Wheel Drive Trek, this series is going to be a little bit different for you. And I've also had featured on here as my Subaru, as my daily driver, uh, with my snow video. So I also have one more, as you saw, in the background. And I've also seen people ask about it previously. This series is going to be all about the Mustang. So this is going to be a full resto mod series. And specifically, I'm going to be taking a Ford 4.6 liter two valve engine and throwing it in here. And I'm just going to be honest with you, this is actually already almost done. I still have a few more things to nip and tuck in here, but I'm not going to be showing you that until the very, very end because I want to show you the full build video from beginning to end and show you everything that's going on with that. So the goal with this is I'm going to take this Mustang from the Ford inline six and replacing everything else while keeping it all looking very very stock the interior is going to stay stock looking uh, i'm going to be redoing all the interior taking it from basically the day i bought it where there's rust all over the floorboards and the seats were all torn up and out of it and everything looked just old and replacing it which i've already done a lot of the interior with all new panels clean everything up put all new carpeting in i ended up uh cutting out the floorboards, welding in new floorboards. I put sound ending material down, put all new carpeting down, and basically made it look almost new. Along with that 4.6 liter swap, I've actually swapped in fuel tanks. I've done the transmission, a five speed swap with all new pedals because this wasn't automatic. Uh, all four corner disc brake conversion because I don't like those drum brakes. Ford 88 rear end, all electronic fuel injection, the custom cooling, a Holly Terminator X wiring standalone harness, and pretty much everything else you could think of is actually being thrown together in this build for this Mustang here. As you can see, other than the actual wheels and tires, it still looks original. That's That was my whole goal of this. The wheels are bullet wheels off of the 2001 Mustang GT bullet editions which look kind of like the torque thrust wheels is what I really, really like about them. Eventually will be painted kind of a uh, original color and I'm gonna redo all of the chrome, all of everything, so it looks original. However, it is not. It is not original uh, inside. So, so what I want you guys to do right now is hit that subscribe button for me because this is gonna be an awesome build series. Definitely hit that like button and it's gonna help me out a lot, keeping it going and keeping this guy going. So I know everybody asks, why am I gonna be taking this old Mustang and butchering it, blah, 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 whatever. The reason why is because I like a car to be able to handle nice, handle well, and that's mom's car. That's dad's car. And the 69 Corvette has, you know, not the stock engine in it, it is the LS7 pushing out uh, just over 500 horsepower. So me, being little brother with my older brother with the uh, the Challenger, if you haven't seen that build, check it out. Link in the description below for you. But uh, I need to be able to keep up with these guys. So that's why I'm doing my engine swap. First things first, I need to get this engine out. Because I got somebody coming to buy the engine. Uh, first thing, the old inline six. Now, to those people that say, uh, to keep it period correct, blah, 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 keep it number, numbers matching, I bought this, it didn't have the numbers matching in line six, so I don't care. Um, and I'm not going to resell this thing. I want to keep it, I want to make it my, like, project, my, my baby, like, I always love these old Mustangs, so I want it for me. I don't care about anybody else, so who cares? So, yeah, that's going to come out first, so let's pull it out. To pull this thing out, it is so easy. You got two radiator hoses, uh, two heater hoses, uh, there's one vacuum line to the transmission, three wires, and there's like a couple bolts come out. Super easy. I'm going to pull that out first. 
I think this is like the probably seventh time I've had an engine in and out of this thing. Pretty proficient at it now. Transmission. So get the engine out. I'm actually going to pull out the radiator. It's going to give me a little more room to kind of pick everything up and slide it out. I don't want to damage the radiator here. So we got the engine out. So now the engine's out, I gotta pull everything else out, cut the shock towers down, transmission's gotta come out. So now it is pull the engine out of the donor car and start parting out the donor car. Then in the meantime, I gotta get the welder, get everything all set up and start uh, cutting out all the shock towers and getting it ready for the new subframe. It's gonna be a fun project and I am finally starting it. So now I realize why this was so cheap. The suspension, the air ride suspension is completely blown out. So when I'm hitting bumps, it is, it is so bad. But it was cheap and I don't care about the suspension. I'm gonna be doing the uh, engine only. So uh, as I'm driving home, the battery, which you already know is bad, um, died at the stoplight so I didn't quite have enough power I think the alternator was trying to overcharge or the alternator is just worn out and uh, I'm not having a battery on there so I died in the intersection it's almost out of gas on my way up to the local auto parts store to grab a battery so then I can throw the battery in there and drive the rest of the way home it's been a voyage but for 700 bucks getting a V8 engine 4.6 same thing in a Mustang GT I'll take it okay We've got the town car in the garage, kind of. Unfortunately, it is way too big to get the engine hoist in front of it and the town car in here, because this thing is a really, really long thing. Uh, I got cardboard down, I gotta drain out all the fluids and whatnot. I gotta make sure I'm not making a mess, because the fiance, or I guess when you watch this, the wife, uh, would be pretty mad. So I wanna make sure and uh, not mess up her car parking spot. Hopefully there's no mishaps and we're gonna start pulling it all out. So the cross member is pressed into the center for the transmission. So either you're pry it out or you're pulling the engine up, it would leverage against it and kind of pop it out. Um, what is the least dangerous way to do this? Unfortunately, the cross member uh, trying to like kind of put pressure on it from the engine was not working and it's actually lifting the back of the engine hoist up and that was bad. So we ran up to the local auto parts store and grabbed some more cutoff discs. And of course I'm gonna support it, but I'm gonna cut that uh, transmission cross member off. So then it's just out of the way, and who cares at that point? It's just, it's out of the way. <laughs> we got the cross member cut on one side, which gave leverage to get the uh, cross member off of the transmission. So we cut that with a bunch of cutoff blades and an angle grinder. So it's connected up top here. So now that clears up all of that so now we can pull the transmission forward. Theoretically, engine should be coming out. I'm sure we probably mixed a wire or a hose or something, but <laughs> let's get that thing out. So I'm not even wearing a watch, but I got to go to work soon. <laughs> It doesn't look too big. It's gigantic. <laughs> so we got uh, transmission, engine. It's up and out. We gotta lift it a little bit higher and then uh, kind of level it out so we can just push the car car out of the way. Ah, oh, yes, success. You got it. You did. 
I think about that. God dang automatics, dude. Should've left it neutral. I know. No transmission. Push it. <laughs> it's been a long day. Is this day. still on? It's been a long day. <laughs> it's still recording, dude. Good, I'm glad. Okay. It. So we were like, oh, oh no. We can't put it in neutral. In neutral to roll it back out. Good. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> that was amazing. The truck was just dragging it backwards. <laughs> that was probably the dumbest thing we've done today. Oh, oh no, we can't shift it. <laughs>